Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you have a beautiful day and of course we got gorgeous weather. It's beautiful. Um, but uh, with it, <laughs> you can see, oh, I hope the audio is okay. Um, yeah, uh, and in this video, very quick update, I want to show you how are my rose seasoning doing and I want to give you several tips how I look after them. Uh, so I think the last um, update about the rose seasoning, I think, well two weeks ago and just two weeks and they look quite different <laughs> um yeah i really want to show you how they looking now here they are they are in the container like this do you know why i keep all of them in the container like this because this way i can protect them from the uh, from the snail and the snack why will windy i hope you can hear me well anyway so here during the day i bring the container outside here and then i just open the lid kind of like angle like this so the seasoning still can you know can have a sunlight and also can still have an airflow for them as well and you can see that they look wonderful they're looking really good i just water them by the way uh i don't water them much just each time just swing sprinkling around just very lightly i don't want to over water them though yeah over water them can kill them too um because at this stage they have roots but they don't have that many so you have to be careful about that so i think they are about three centimeter high now yeah, I think maybe some over four centimeter high. So I got two, three variety of the seeds in here. Um, this one is um, the Endeavor, David Austin Bowl. This one, Bathsheba. I think this one, you got like creamy yellow it uh, color. Uh, this one, the seeds I took from, or oh, like the, the hips I took from my neighbor. And this one, uh, the hips I got from my neighbors as well. This one, tomat uh, bucket. This is the white veg color. And this is David Austin Rose as well. One of the container here though, I didn't um, uh, I didn't film or show you in this container, uh, in this one, and I suddenly I forgot. You can see sometimes doing YouTube video, it has benefit. Uh, but so far, I haven't seen any. <laughs> I think maybe w when I planted, maybe I put too, too little um, premium or too little soil on the top to cover the seed. So maybe they haven't really smudging up. I only top the the soil up for them i think you just about two weeks ago so hopefully in the future they will sprout up uh anyway so um this one it does this container is the one they sprouting the earlier and i think together with this one as well and this one the red one tomat are uh, baked they took a little bit longer i think just maybe a week after and uh yeah but now they look yeah you know, they, 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 they look very similar very much the same high uh, and this one there's so many and they still count you know try to spout in here you can see that <laughs> they try to spout every day maybe until there are no more seeds left and this one as well i think this one one of the hips this one from the endeavor rose um but i got a well, nice seasoning from this that is wonderful i'm not sure if any more will spout up later or not um and this one i guess several hips right not oh, oh, not only one or two and i think this at least few two or four or five in here um yeah i will put the link of the video um in the description below how i sew the rose so when the rose seasoning at this stage, you do need to protect them uh, from the um, snail and the snack. And if you have earwigs in your garden, make sure you protect them as well. So that's why I do like to put on a little you know, seasoning in the big container. And then I care with the container under our car pot during the night. <laughs> because uh, And I close the lid. So uh, the creature can't really come in there to to eat the, the rose seasoning and also um during the night we still have a quite cold temperature and last night it's was down to three degrees celsius i think few more day uh i think it's going to go down a little bit further as well maybe be even like one degree celsius i don't think at this stage they should be exposed to the frost yet uh they should just 
too delicate for that so mindful about that and also you do need to protect them from the sunburn too so too much sun for them they can uh, their main stem can get burned as well and their leaves and oh you know the on the whole thing and when they um, they got sunburn they might be the corner um i think last year i got a few seasoning came up and at that time i didn't know they just got sunburned very bad and they just gone and uh, make sure don't over water them <laughs> um yeah just some uh, time water them bit lightly i don't think the assisted they need fortunator yet uh maybe when they up to around 10 centimeter uh if you think they are stressed then you should give them just the uh, half strength of the um seasoning uh, fortunator i'm not sure i never heard fortunator that's why actually because normally i just use premium potty mix and then i just grow the seasoning grow like well 10 or even 15 centimeter uh and at that time i can divide them so i yeah i i don't really like fortunate them when they are tiny to seasoning um and what's else um during the uh, day you could see that i brought, uh, bring them outside exposing to the sunlight but not too direct because i just close the lid on the top um i think um it is very efficient way and very great way and your seasoning still have uh, your know, sunlight but not too direct into the stem of um you know of the rose seasoning um i think that's it actually oh make sure you don't let them to dry out by the way they can be dressed <laughs> if they dry out um yeah i think that this i'm so happy uh to see all the little seasoning coming up and they look so so cute and you know so rewarding um if you saw the rose uh, sit, uh, sit together with me at that time how are yours doing i hope uh, uh yours coming up or at least some of them let me know uh how yours doing as you can see, I got so many roses thing here. I'm not sure how I can, uh, you know, how, how I gonna choose on uh, which one I gonna keep. <laughs> uh, I will have the, uh, trouble in the future. But at the moment, I just enjoy looking at them. Um, yeah, I suddenly they some of them might look look like similar to the parents or the mother plant. Uh, but maybe some of them they will turn to just. just something different and it's gorgeous uh, blooms you know um yeah and some of them they might not uh, they don't have a good disease resistant and some they are even better than the parents plan who knows uh because i think our neighbors and also my garden as well the one i got from the you know for my own rose uh it's just more like very open uh, garden so they can get any you know oh, oh, it got can any anything any pollen from other roses so yeah that could be very interesting so anyway thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy it and see you next one bye bye